Welcome to Statics Lectures by Civil Thinking and today we are going to solve another problem on equilibrium of rigid bodies. Now before I move on, I suggest to you to please watch the video lectures on equilibrium of rigid bodies in sequence so that you understand better. The playlist link is in the description or also you can click on the pop-up on your screen. Now coming to the problem. Calculate the tension T in the cable which supports the 1000 pound load with the pulley arrangement as shown in the figure below now we have three pulleys here okay pulley c this is pulley b and this is pulley a okay the, each pulley is free to rotate about its bearing now the center point these are the bearings this is the bearing of pulley b and this is the bearing of pulley a okay now and the weight of all parts are small compared to the applied load now we have this applied load of 1000 and the weight of these cables and the pulleys are neglected okay now we have to find this value okay we have to find the tension t on the pulley c okay this is the cable okay and we have to find tension in this cable okay this cable is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees now we have to find t okay we have to find the value of t now what we need to do we we will apply the equations of equilibrium okay on each pulley one by one okay we will solve the unknowns with the help of equations of equilibrium okay if you don't know about equations of equilibrium please watch my video lecture on equations of equilibrium okay if you are the beginner in my classes now we will apply equations of equilibrium to each pulley okay so before that i have to draw the free body diagram of each pulley okay so let us begin so this is pulley one this is pulley c okay then we have pulley b downwards all right then we have another pulley right here okay now this is pulley A, this is pulley B and this is pulley C, okay. These are the what bearings of each pulley, okay. It means this pulley can rotate, you know, clockwise or anti-clockwise freely, okay. There is no resistance at this point, right. Now let's draw the free body diagrams. Now 1000 pound is acting on pulley A. Let us draw the free body diagram of point pulley A. So it is acting downwards so i will let me change the color so what i'm going to do i will use the arrow downwards right this is 1000 pounds now this 1000 pound will try to move the pulley a downwards right but these two cables they will prevent the motion it means these two cables are pulling the pulley upwards okay so i will just write let us say this is t1 and this is t2 okay now let's draw the free body diagram of this b now at pulley b we have this cable it is trying to move the pulley downwards okay it's trying to move the cable downwards now look at this with this is t2 right this is t2 as you can see here now how much is this t2 this is also T2, right? Why it is T2? Because this is the same cable, right? The actual forces, if it is T2, so this actual force will be everywhere, okay? So we we know this is pulling downwards, right? At B, so this is also going to be T2, okay? Now these two cables will prevent the downward movement of B, so these two cables are moving it upwards. So let me call them as anything let us say this is t3 and this is t4 right now look at this this is the same cable it is trying to move it downwards right now i will draw the free body diagram of this pulley c so it is downwards this is also t3 why because it is the same cable right this is t3 so this is also t3 okay now then we have T here in this cable okay basically we have a cable here we have a cable here so 
we have a tension T here, okay? And the cable is making an angle of what? 30 degrees, right? So, but we have something more here. We have this support, okay? It is connected to this pulley C at this point, okay? Now, this support will prevent the motion of this in the left right direction it will also prevent the motion of this pulley C in the upward up down direction right so what is going to happen there will be reactions at this point right there will be a horizontal reaction let us say this is F1 and there will also be a vertical reaction F2 why because this support this support it is going to prevent the motion of pulley C in the left right or up down okay now I think that's all I have drawn the free body diagram of each pulley so let us apply the equations of equilibrium okay we have to find T right we have to find this T so let us apply the equations of equilibrium you know we know equations of equilibrium they are summation of f of x is 0 summation of f of y is 0 and summation of moment is zero right now let's apply equation of equilibrium at pulley c okay now before that i have to assume a sign convention okay let us say upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative okay this is positive y axis and the forces in the positive y axis is positive and the in the downward direction is negative okay and we also have let us say this is x axis okay the forces in the x direction horizontal direction the forces towards right they are positive and the forces towards left they are negative at pulley c you can see we have how many forces we have f1 f2 t3 and t okay now before that before i apply equation of equilibrium let us resolve this t into horizontal and vertical why i will do that because i am going to apply these equations in the x and y right but this t is neither in x direction it is nor it is in y direction right it is in somewhere between so i had to find the x component and the y component so that i can include the components of t in x these equations right so let's say this is tx this is t uh, how much is it it is t cos 30 degree right i have already made video lecture on this thing we call this as this thing as resolution of vectors okay this is t sine 30 degree okay now if you don't know about resolution of vectors it's very simple you can also watch my video lecture on resolution of vectors okay this is t it is making an angle of 30 degrees so it is t cos 30 and the vertical okay it is t sine 30 now let's apply the summation of f of x equals 0 now let us see the forces along the x-axis we have t cos 30 degree it is towards right as you can see so it is positive so t cos 30 degrees then we have f1 it is up against this so against this is negative okay so minus f1 okay all of it is zero because we only have these two forces in the x direction now let's apply summation of f of y equals zero now t sine 30 is upwards it is in this direction so it is positive anything in this direction is positive right t sine 30 degree then we have t3 which is against this right because y axis is positive y axis is upwards t3 is downwards so it is negative minus t3 then we have f plus f2 why because f2 is in upward direction so all of it is zero okay now let's apply this equation okay summation of moment at the center now now this t let us assume the radius of this pulley is r okay so it is going to be r everywhere right so when we apply the moment let me assume the clockwise moment as positive and anti-clockwise moment as negative so this t is going to exert clockwise moment so it is t multiplied by r i'm applying finding the moment at this point okay at the bearing then we have t3 right it is going to exert anti-clockwise moment so negative t3 multiplied by r 
it is zero okay now this r and r will cancel out so t minus t3 is zero which gives us t is equal to t3 okay now we need to find t right i don't know but we get t is equal to t3 but we had to find the numerical value of t okay it means we had to find the numerical value of t3 okay so i have to apply the equations of equilibrium again on pulley b and pulley a why because i will get a numerical value okay so i will get the numerical value where there is already a numerical value okay no you know this is a simple trick i can apply the equation of equilibrium first at this and then at this right but since we have a numerical value at the pulley a so first we will apply equation of equilibrium at the pulley a okay so let me erase this first then we will apply now let us apply equations of equilibrium at point at pulley a okay now let us first apply this summation of f of x okay now you can see there is no force in the x direction on the pulley a okay so we will not apply this okay so let us apply summation of f of y now t1 and t2 they are upwards so they are positive t1 plus t2 1000 pound it is downwards so it is negative right so it is equal to zero let's call this as equation one now let us apply the moment this equation at the bearing okay now this is let us say the radius is r again and this is also r right so let's apply the moment now t1 is going to exert clockwise moment and t2 is going to exert anti-clockwise moment okay so t1 multiplied by r minus t2 multiplied by r now 1000 is not going to exert any moment at this so we will not consider this so all of it is zero okay now r and r this will cancel out right so we have t1 minus t2 is zero so t1 is equal to t2 okay t1 is equal to t2 now we will put the value of t1 is equal to t2 okay in this equation okay so i will put t2 here okay because t1 is equal to t2 so t2 plus t2 is 2 times t2 right so it is 2 times t2 minus 1000 is equal to 0 so when i rearrange it like this so 2t2 is 1000 okay so t2 is half of 1000 right so t2 is half of 1000 which is 500 okay so we got the value of t2 to be 500 pound right but we had to find the value of t3 okay now when we apply the equation of equilibrium at pulley b we will find the value of t3 also okay so let me erase this first now this is pulley b as you can see at this pulley b we have only vertical forces okay so we will not apply this equation okay we will only apply these two equations right so let me apply first this equation now we are talking about pulley b right now t3 and t4 are upwards so they are positive t3 plus t4 now t2 is downwards so minus t2 it is equal to zero right because summation of f of y is zero okay so <clears throat> now t2 is 500 right so i will put 500 here minus 500 is zero okay now when i rearrange it so it is going to be equal to 500 okay now let me apply this equation moment equation right we applied this equation now we will apply this equation now let us say the radius is r here and the radius is r here okay let me call this as equation one now moment at this point we will apply this equation summation of moment so t3 is going to exert clockwise and t4 is going to exert anti-clockwise moment okay so due to t3 it is going to be positive and t4 it is going to be negative right if you have any doubts you can comment okay we will not consider t2 because it is passing through this point we are finding moment at this point okay so the moment at this point to t2 is going to be zero so we will not consider t2 anyways this r and r will again cancel out so t3 minus t4 is zero right so it means t3 is equal to t4 right t3 is equal to t4 now remember what we had to find we had to find the value of t3 because that is going to be our 
the value of t right because we had to find the tension t okay so t3 is t4 we will put t3 here instead of t4 because they are equal so t3 plus t3 is 500 so t3 plus t3 is 2 times t3 right so from here 2 times t3 is 500 so how much is the value of t3 it is half of 500 right and half of 500 is what it is 250 right so we get the value of t3 to be 250 pounds okay so t3 is 250 pounds so t3 is equal to t2 uh, t so t is also equal to 250 pounds okay so this way we solve this problem the answer of this problem is t3 is 250 pounds now you can see how we applied the equations of equilibrium one by one okay so this is how we solve the pulley problems now if you have any doubt please comment and that's it for today's class see you in the next class thank you